Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to compress your ISO file so that you can put more gains into your memory state. If you are new here, do remember to click the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon for new updates. In this video, I will go through step by step on how to compress your ISO file into a CSO file so that you can put more games into your memory stick. So rather than bringing 8 games with you now, you just need to bring one memory stick. There are several ways for you to get your ISO. You can download it online by searching for .iso or you can get them by copying it from your UMD disk. I've included link in the description on how to copy your UMD disk. The software that we'll be using is called the ISO compressor. Click the link in the description to download the software and install it onto your computer. After downloading the file, you will need to install the ISO compressor. Go through the setup wizard and complete the installation accordingly. Once you are done with the installation, the app will instantly run by itself. For convenience, I have saved my ISO file inside the PSP ISO folder on my desktop. In the folder, I have my Need for Speed ISO file which is about 904 MB. Let's compress this. On the ISO compressor folder, click Browse and select your ISO file. Next, we will select the compression level. By default, it will be in level 6 but from testing, level 8 seems to be good for me and we are good to go. You don't have to change any other settings. Next, click on Compress to start. The process time is determined by the size of the ISO. The bigger the ISO, the longer it will take. Once it's finished, click OK. The CSO file will be saved into the same folder as the ISO file. The compressed file will have a .CSO on the title. After the compression, the file size is only 183 MB, which is about 1 8 of the actual size. Now you copy the CSO file onto your memory stick. Set your memory stick into the computer. My memory stick is the G drive, yours could be different. We will copy your CSO file into the ISO folder in your memory stick. I've also copied the ISO file for comparison. Once it's done, safely eject your memory stick. Now let's go to the PSP. I'm using a PSP adapter. There's a link in the description if you want to get one for yourself. Slot your memory stick into your PSP and let's boot it up. As always, we will run the ProFast Recovery. This is to ensure that we are back on custom firmware. If you are not on custom firmware, click the link on the top right hand to mod your PSP. Once you are on custom firmware, you should be able to see your CSO and your ISO file. We will take a look at the ISO file first. This is a direct backup from the UMD disk. Using the PSP filer, if you look at the size, it's about 884 MB. Now we will compare with the CSO file after compression. If you look at the size, it's only 180 MB. This is 1 8 the size of the ISO. Let's start the CSO and give it a go. Loading time will be slightly slower than the ISO. This is because the image is being compressed. But it's definitely faster than running the game from the UMD disk. There's no delay in the gameplay. In terms of graphics, there's no significant difference. And there's no sound lag as well. On average, an 8GB memory stick should be able to fit about 8 ISO. But after compressing to a CSO, now you should be able to fit about 60 CSO file into your 8GB memory stick. And there you go, that's how you compress your ISO file into a CSO so you can put more games into your memory stick. If you have found this video useful, do consider giving this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel as it will help the channel grow. We have just surpassed 170 subscribers and I'm very grateful for all your support. I post new video every Tuesday. Do also join me on my live tweet session every Friday, Saturday, Sunday after 9pm. With that, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe everybody.